Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tobofo here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Guzhal Sword Dragon. The Guzhal Sword Dragon, which goes by the military designation WZ-7, is an unmanned aerial vehicle of the high altitude long endurance type featuring an unusual joined tandem wing plan. As of 2011, it is being developed by the People's Republic of China for reconnaissance and possible anti-shipping missions. So yeah, the um, Sword Dragon here, very interesting uh, drone, uh, very similar to that of the Global Hawk in terms of its uh, kind of role and capability. Um, overall, pretty interesting and very futuristic type looking drone. Um, the way that its wings are kind of set up, it definitely has that futuristic type look at it. Look, at, look to it and definitely looks like it's straight out of like Call of Duty, Fancy Warfare or something like that. So a uh, pretty cool build and will be a unique one. This is our first ever modern Chinese aircraft. So that's also something really cool. Surprisingly, we have not done a modern Chinese aircraft in the history of this channel, I believe. So pretty wild stuff and happy to kind of finally see one um, show up here on the channel in the terms of a drone. Before we go and take a look at this aircraft, I want to go and give special thanks to Patreon support Derek Frost for Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in the video description. It's where you can pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a your core request to your choosing. Um, it really helps support the work I do on my channel and is obviously greatly appreciated. So if you are interested, obviously you can feel free to check that out. Link is in, again in the video descriptions. With that, however, let's go ahead and take a look here at the... Um, aircraft and see exactly what we'd be building. So this drone here does have the, both the in-flight and landed versions available to you guys. Starting with the landed version, you have the basically standard three-wheeled configuration here for the landing gear, front wheel and the two back wheels as well as the doors here. For the landing gear, pretty straightforward and simple landing gear design for the aircraft. Uh, basically for the aircraft in, in flight um, and the aircraft as a whole, uh, we have the front here which is basically the brain here of the aircraft, all your electronics all that stuff are going to be housed in here um, as we progress further we have the wings here and you can see the very interesting unique shape here of the wings uh, which kind of has the main wings that sit that go out and then the ones that kind of connect up super weird design don't know really how to explain it better than that um, but overall pretty interesting drone and something very unique I would say for sure we didn't have the engine here on the back so the intake and then the jet engine here on the back like so Vertical stabilizer and the uh, Chinese kind of uh, aircraft or Air Force. I don't want to say Air Force, but like their kind of national uh, logo there on the side of this uh, aircraft. Anyways, that right there is pretty much it for this overview for the aircraft. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into the tutorials by going ahead and starting with our first layer. I guess so going ahead and moving into our first layer here we go ahead and start off layer 2. Now we're we'll start off layer 2 because it gives us a better basis of the aircraft to go ahead and build basically the future layers onto. Layer 1 is just going to involve some top slabs on the bottom of this layer so just easier to start at this point here. Um, if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials a few things I want to mention is first that uh, the aircraft will be structured half on half off. What this means is we're going to be doing the entire center line of the aircraft and then the entire right side. From there, it will be up to you guys to copy the right side over to the left side. This aircraft is completely symmetrical, so whatever you do on one side will be done to the other. Pretty straightforward stuff, nothing too crazy. Um, and if there's anything different, which there shouldn't be, uh, I will obviously let you guys know. Uh, but pretty simple, and I'll show a top-down view between layers so that you can um, you know, use that to reference and all that stuff. But just know the aircraft is completely symmetrical, so whatever we do on the right side will be done to the left side. Also, uh, we, if you do want to build the landed version of this aircraft, we will have that available. However, we're going to be building the aircraft as if it's in flight and then going ahead and adding the landing gear on as a modification to the end um, design. Now, to make sure that if you do want to build this landed, it's the correct height, you do want to make sure that it is two blocks. So this layer, layer two here, is two blocks full space between the ground level and the aircraft. So you can see here we have these two blocks of space uh, between the aircraft here and the the ground level. So very important um, as if it's off by a block obviously it's not going to sit properly on the ground when we go back to add the landing gear. But anyways if you're building it in flight you don't have to take that into account. Um, just pretty much go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do here is we're going to be going ahead and start off by placing down a gray concrete block. Now we're going to place down a row of we have one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 gray concrete blocks back. In the direction you want your front facing, we're going to place down a polished black stone upside down stair and a polished black stone top side coming off that stair facing toward the direction our front is going to be facing, which is that direction there. Then go ahead and go into the back here. We're going to place down two polished black stone top slabs and then two uh, dark oak wood trap doors like that for the back. With that done, we then want to go ahead and place down a gray stained glass pane to the side of this block here, followed by one and two polished black stone walls, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven gray concrete blocks back. From there, we want to go and then take our polished black stone stairs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and yeah, just six polished black stone upside down stairs back, polished black stone top slab, and then a dark oak trap door there on the end. Then going back up to the second great concrete block here, we're going to place down a dark oak trap door on the side there. We then want to place down a row of three of dark polished black stone top slabs, then a dark oak trap door, and then two dark oak trap doors come with the last two polished black stone top slabs. Once we have that all complete, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some block that we can easily tell apart from the aircraft. So for me, I'm just going to use yellow concrete because it stands out and is vastly different from the black we're going for. We want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and counting out to the side here in which we're going to have our tip of our wing started. So we're going to go ahead and go to this dark oak trap door on the back here. And we're just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 blocks out to the side. So same thing on both sides. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 out to the side there. Once we get to this point here, we then want to place down two dark oak wood trap doors. So one, two. Or actually, sorry, my bad. It's going to be one dark oak wood trap door. Two dark oak wood top slabs. And then from that, we're going to go ahead and then grab a dark oak wood top slab. Place down one forward on the end here. Then a polished andesite top slab. A dark oak wood trap door. And then we're going to place down a second dark oak wood trap door coming off that. After that, we want to go ahead and then place down two iron trap doors on these two dark oak wood trap doors. So just like that. And then one dark oak wood trap door come off this iron trap door over. And then our last uh, two sections here, dark oak wood trap door here, one over. And then we just want to go ahead and go one dark oak wood trap door forward from this one. So that will be the same thing there on both sides. So looking at it from above here, this is what you should have for layer number two when you have both sides complete and all that fun stuff. Once that's all done, you can delete any of these yellow concrete blocks that you did place as they are going to be no longer needed for the build. And so we're going to delete those. And with that, we are pretty much done with layer number two for the build. And from there, let's go ahead and move into layer number one. All right, guys, so go ahead and move into layer one. Layer one is a super simple layer. All we're going to do is go ahead and go to the bottom here of our fuselage. We're going to go into this first row three of gray concrete on the middle block here and place down a polished black stone top slab on the bottom. We then want to go and go back from the top slab one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in total polished black stone top slabs. And then we just want to place down three uh, dark oak trap doors to go back like so. And that's all you need to do for layer one. Like I said, layer one's pretty simple and straightforward. And from that point there, we're going to move on to our next layer here, layer number three. Alright guys, going ahead and getting started, we're going to be moving into our next layer, layer 3. For layer 3 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a grey concrete block on top of this polished black stone top slab here in the very front. Coming off that grey concrete block toward the front, we're going to place down a polished black stone wall, two end rods, and then a chain there to make the very tip um, point there uh, for the front. After that, we're going back to this grey concrete block, going back from it, we're going to place down a long row of grey concrete that in total is going to be a row of 24 blocks back. So 24 blocks back from that one, so you should have a row of 25 back from the polished black stone wall. Also, for perspective, you can go ahead and also count it by placing down two gray concrete blocks that stick out past this last dark oak trap door. And then we're going to place down two polished ASA top slabs and then an iron trap door there to go, and wrap, go ahead and wrap up our center line. From this point, moving out to the sides here, we're going to place down a gray stained glass pane coming off this first a uh, gray concrete block and then two polished black stone walls that go back from it like so. We then want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 gray concrete blocks back. Double check our count here and it's actually to be 19. So 19 gray concrete blocks in total. 
We then want to place down a polished black stone upside down stair, followed by a top slab, and then a dark oak trap door to go ahead and finish that off. Now once we have that done, we're going to go and start moving into our kind of main wing here. To get started with this, we're going to place down a polished black stone slab on top of this trap door, two dark oak or two polished black stone stairs back, uh, two polished black stone slabs back, and then we're going to go and place down a gray or a wither skeleton skull on the side of the block like that. After that, we're going to go and then place down two polished black stone slabs here and a daylight detector, which we're going to turn to the night mode. We then want to place down another two polished black stone slabs, so one, two, and then another daylight detector. Turn off, so turn that to night mode. For our next row here, we're going to place down a polished andesite slab, a polished black stone slab, and then a daylight detector. Again, turn to night mode. We're going to then place down a polished andesite slab, polished black stone slab, and daylight detector, like so. Again, all the daily detectors here will be turned to night mode. Uh, we're going to then place down two polished andesite top slabs here, two polished blackstone top slabs, and two daylight detectors. Again, turn to night mode. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern again. So, polished andesite top slab, blackstone slab, daily detector, then two polished andesite top slabs here, two polished blackstone slabs, two daily detectors like that, turn to night mode. And uh, let's see where we're currently at right now so at this point here so we're going to go ahead and basically repeat this another time so we have the one polished anti top slab slab detector and then we have the two slabs followed by the two polished black stone slabs and the two daylight detectors like that we're going to go ahead and then do a polished anti top slab a or sorry just a normal slab a black stone slab daily detector and we're going to do the same thing again polished anesthetic slab that goes back a uh, polished blackstone slab and then a daylight detector turn to night mode at this point right here we're going to then place down a polished blackstone stair followed by a gray concrete block and then another polished blackstone stair so going ahead and give you guys an overview here of what we have so far just want to make sure everybody is at the same page so make sure you go ahead and count how many you have it's kind of an alternating pattern so it's easy to count um, but as you can see we have one two one two one two one two one and then basically this would be a their two section right there so kind of take that in consideration there count make sure it's good so we should have one two three four and basically five of those uh that kind of alternating pattern that goes back like so now once we get to this point here we're going to then place down a polished dance slide slab here followed by a polished blackstone slab back and their daily detector turned to night mode at this point here, we're going to then place down a polished andesite slab, followed by a daylight detector. So we're kind of changing it up a little bit. And then at this point here, we're going to take our daylight detectors. We're going to place down one, two, three. We're going to change the last two to night mode, and we're going to go and make sure we close this trap door because it will open. We're going to leave this daylight detector here to the day mode. Uh, daylight detector here on top of this one. Just so keep that in day mode, and then the second daylight detector, turn that to night mode. Again, fix your trap door if it does decide to open. At this point here, we're going to take our iron trap doors. We're just going to place down two iron trap doors here. And we're going to then place down two dark oak trap doors directly behind those two trap doors like that. And then taking our gray carpet, we're going to place down one and two gray carpet like that to the side here. And then for the little kind of winglet on the end here, we're going to place down a polished black stone stair, a gray concrete block, and then a wither skeleton skull came off the gray concrete block, fall by an end rod back. And just so we don't have to worry about it in the next layer, we're also going to place down a polished black stone stair on top of this gray concrete block a polished black stone wall back and another end rod like that so just so we don't have to worry about it later on it's kind of easier just to knock it out now um and um all that fun stuff anyways once you have that done that's going to basically wrap up the wings there uh for both sides you're going to take what we do on the right side flip it over to the left side and you should get something that looks just like this anyways that right there is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number three and with that let's go and move into layer number four all right guys moving into our next layer here we have layer number four for layer 4 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and start by placing down a polished black stone slab on top of this gray concrete block. Going back from that slab, we're going to place down a long row of gray concrete that in total is going to be 22 blocks in length. Now once you get to this point right here, you have two options. If you have this aircraft landed and the engine turned off, you can go ahead and place down a black concrete block and then a uh, iron bar like this to go ahead and kind of show the engine off. If you do want the engine on, uh, you can have a glowstone block and then an orange stained glass kind of block over it uh, kind of up to you guys there um, you can kind of pick and choose what you really want to do 
Um, but yeah, those are some options there for you guys um, to basically make this little back section here. Anyways, after that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three polished dance light slabs that go back like so. After that, going ahead and moving out to the sides here, we're going to place down a gray stained glass pane, which is going to be coming off this first gray stained glass or gray concrete block. We then want to place down two polished black stone walls back, followed by one, two, three, four, five gray concrete blocks, and then one, two, three, four, and five polished black stone walls, then one, two, three, and four polished black stone stairs, then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven gray concrete blocks, and then two polished andesite uh, stairs just like that going back. Once we have that all complete there, um, that right there is going to wrap it up for the fuselage, and we're going to go ahead and start moving our way out to the wings here. So for the wings here, uh, what we want to do for this section here is we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and placing down a polished black stone stair on top of this block here, and then a uh, wall that kind of goes back from it. Now next to the stair and the wall on the inside here, so the inside section here of the wing, we're going to place down two polished black stone top slabs like so. We then want to go ahead and go back one, two, and then come off this one, two, so you have basically two sets of two there. We're going to go ahead and then take our dark oak trap doors, and we're going to do one off here, then one back, so you have two, one, two, and then one to the side here, one back, just like that. And that right there will basically, um, you know, do that there for both sides there for those uh, sections there of the wings, which we'll be working on later. And we already have the winglets here on both sides completed. So from this point here, that's pretty much it for layer four. And uh, from there, we're going to go ahead and move on. One thing I do want to mention here is that there are the banners that we have on the side here. And uh, these banners here are positioned pretty simply. It's just kind of like on these two blocks here. Now these aren't really anything in particular. There are kind of like Chinese lettering on the side of the aircraft. Obviously probably for its designation or something like that. I, I don't speak Chinese uh, or am familiar at all with the language. So trying to make any kind of these... Uh, the lettering and all that stuff, especially complex with trying to use banners and stuff like that, really wasn't working out too well. So this is what I came up with, just using some gray banners with the white brick pattern over it and just kind of trying to take some gray uh, dye and kind of make some shapes around it to kind of create these shapes. And you can see it kind of came out all right and looks okay. Um, but I'm not going to go into go into it in detail because I really don't know how to make, remember how to make these. You have to try to give Give it a go yourself, but that's just kind of um, what I did for it. If you know how to make them, you know, make any kind of Chinese lettering or anything like that actually with the banners, then feel free to go ahead and try it. But that's what I came up with, and that's what I have there. But just wanted to mention that um, in case some of you guys were interested in adding that. Anyways, that's it for layer four. Let's move into layer five. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into uh, our next area, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a polished black stone slab on top of this second gray concrete block here. And then going back from the slab, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 gray concrete blocks back, two polished black stone slabs, two daylight detectors turned to the night mode, and then two dark oak trapdoors after that. We're going to go ahead and then skip a space, place down a polished andesite slab, a black concrete block, then 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6 gray concrete blocks back, and then two polished andesite top slabs back from that point there. Once we have that done, um, also this section here, you can go and continue your engine design. So if you went with this design, you can go and do the same thing up from that. And again, you can do the glowstone and the orange stained glass like that, just kind of continuing that up like that right there. So you would have four gray concrete blocks and then whatever you decide to do here for the engine and then your two polished dance top slabs. Anyways, from that, let's go ahead and work our way out to the sides. Going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a... Uh, gray stained glass pane here to the side and then we're going to go ahead and place down one two three four uh polished black stone walls back two gray stained glass panes a wither skeleton skull and then one at a slight angle like that back we're going to go and then go back to the polished inside slab place down the inside wall polished black stone wall and then one two three four five and six gray concrete blocks back followed by a additional gray concrete block back like this and then a polished nanosite stair like that on the end there after we have that done uh going ahead and moving to the side here we're going to go ahead and place down two polished black stone top slabs located in this section here and then a wither skeleton school there on the side we're going to go ahead and then place down additional two polished black stone top slabs out to the side then one two one two so like this we're going to go and then drop down do one two and then one two again like that we're going to go and then uh place down 
one slab here. Daylight detector like this, turn it to night mode. And then two right here next to those. Again, turn those to night mode. After that, uh, we then want to place down a uh, daylight detector here. Turn it to night mode. One forward, night mode, and one to the side here. Again, night mode like so. And then taking our dark oak trap doors, we want to very simply place down one, two, three across, and then one, two, and three across as well. And once we have that all done there, that's going to pretty much do it for the structure here for this uh, layer here, layer number five. Uh, from this point here, we do want to go ahead and also make this banner. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the materials we'll need, and I'll show you guys how to make these uh, banners here for the side of the aircraft, kind of the Chinese uh, national aircraft logo, very similar to the National Star Insignia, which the U.S. military uses. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into making those banners. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into making these banners. The materials we're going to need here is a red banner, a gray banner, six gray dye, three red dye, one yellow dye, and the banner pattern that is going to be the flower pattern. Now, let's go ahead and get started. First off, we're going to go into our loom and we're going to start off with our side striped banners. We're going to go ahead and place down a gray banner into the loom and our yellow dye. We're going to go ahead and then select the brick pattern like so. After we have the brick pattern, we're going to take this same banner, put it back into our loom. We're going to place down our red dye and do the line across the center here of red dye. We're going to go ahead and then grab that banner, put our red dye back into our uh, toolbar here, and then we're going to take our gray dye, put it into our loom. We're going to select the line horizontal across the top and the line horizontal across the bottom there for our gray dye. And that's going to finish off this banner right here. For our next one, uh, we're going to be going ahead and Starting off by going ahead and going into our loom here. We're going to go ahead and place down a red banner into our loom. And we're going to go and then take our gray dye and place down our gray dye here in the center. We're going to do a line across the center like so and then grab our banner like so. We then want to go ahead and take our red dye and also our banner pattern. And we're going to do a design that looks just like this. So we're going to grab that banner, put it back into our loom and take our red dye out and this dye here. Now at this point right here, uh, we want to go ahead and then we have this banner in our loom and we're going to then grab ourselves our gray dye, we're going to put it into our loom here and we're going to go and then do the line across the top like this which will create the banner that looks like that. We're going to then take that banner, put it back into our loom and we're going to go and then grab our red dye again and we then want to go ahead and do the diamond shape in the center which looks just like this and we're going to then put that back into our loom. Now we're going to then take our gray dye, put it back into our loom here. We're going to go and select the triangle here from the bottom, like that. And then we want to go and then grab our uh, line across the bottom here, our horizontal line across the bottom. And boom, just like that, we have our star right here. And to go ahead and put this on the side of the aircraft, super simple. We're just going to go and place down the first striped banner here, red the red star, and then this banner like that. So super simple design there on both sides. Looks real nice, has a nice touch of detail and you can definitely tell it's a Chinese aircraft when you see that on the side of the aircraft. Anyways, that right there is going to complete layer number five with the banners and all. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number six. All right guys, go ahead and move into our next layer. We have layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna start off by going ahead and going to the front. We're gonna to go to the second gray concrete block. We're gonna place down a daylight detector on top of it, turn it to night mode as well as one more back also turn to night mode, followed by two dark oak trap doors. After that, go ahead and go into the back here, on top of this polished anesthetic slab, we're going to place down a daylight detector, turn it to night mode, a second daylight detector back, a polished anesthetic slab, two daylight detectors, polished blackstone slab, and then one, two, three, and four gray concrete blocks back. After that, on the sides here, come off these two daylight detectors on the back, we're going to place down two dark oak trap doors, and also two dark oak trap doors here. Uh, or sorry, a row four. So one, two, three, and four come off those four gray concrete blocks. And once you have that all done there, that is going to wrap it up before what we have there for layer six. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our final layers here. We have layers seven through 11. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we'll be going ahead and going and basically just building the vertical stabilizer. To go ahead and do that, we're going to start off by going ahead and placing down a gray concrete block here, followed by two more backs of a row three. We're going to then place down a light gray banner coming off this block like that going forward. We're going to then place down the andesite wall on top of this block, two gray concrete blocks back, and then a polished black stone wall here on the end. We're going to go then go up two gray concrete blocks and an air polished black stone wall. Now at this point here, you're going to go ahead and take a gray banner, 
place it down on the side here and it's going to have in white the little mojang logo um that right there is going to be the uh I believe it's the thing uh banner pattern so you're going to be using that on the side on the banner with white dye to go ahead and create this banner design and it creates a little mojang symbol which is actually kind of close to what the actual logo is on the uh, tail here for the aircraft and it's going to be in the same position on both sides like that Anyways, once that's done there, we want to go and then take a light gray banner, place it down on the side there of this block like that. We then want to place down a light gray, or sorry, an anisite wall up like that. Then two gray concrete blocks with an end rod coming off the last one. And then we're going to place down two more gray concrete blocks on top of those two. Light gray banner on the front side and a end rod going toward the back side like so. And once we have that all done right there, that is going to basically wrap up the in-flight version here for the WZ-7 Sword Dragon. And with that, let's go ahead and move into adding the landing gear on to uh, make the landing version. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our landing gear. For landing gear, we're going to start off with the front one here. And for this, we're just going to be going ahead and going to this section here. Now, this section here, we're going to delete these two gray concrete blocks here, right where these two polished black stone uh, walls are. And we're going to go then place down a spoof quartz top slab here, and then a direct wall right here in this section. Going down from the direct wall, we're going to place down a birchwood fence post. And then a polish, or sorry, a block of coal here on the bottom. Now on both sides of the block of coal, we're gonna have a white banner here. So this white banner, super simple. It's a white banner, black border that goes around, and a black horizontal line for the middle. We're gonna go ahead and place this on both sides of the block of coal, just like that, um, to go ahead and make the wheel. After that, we want to go and then place down a polished black stone stair, come off the fence post here, and then one more going forward like that on both sides, like so, to go ahead and make the front there. And that right there is going to do it for the front wheel. Let's go ahead and move on to the rear ones. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into uh, our rear wheels. To go ahead and get started with here, uh, we're going to be going ahead and going to this back, back section here. We're going to go delete this polished black stone stair here, and it's placed from place on a diorite wall. On the bottom of the diorite wall, we want to go and grab ourselves a quartz stair. So we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair here coming down from the wall. And then going down an angle from the, the stair here, we're going to place down a block of coal. And on both sides of the block of coal here, we're going to have the banner design here, the white banner, black border. And from this point here, we're going to then place down a uh, row of one, two, and three polished black stone top slabs, and then one, two, and three polished black stone stairs directly on top of those. And once you have that all complete there, that's going to be it for the landing gear on the rear. You're going to take that same design, flip it over to the other side, and you have both your wheels complete. And anyways, with that all done, that's going to complete my tutorial here for the, both the in-flight and landed versions for the WZ-7 Sword Dragon. If you guys uh, do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for the build. This can be a thing from a sound of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does bring social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use your favorite project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always or link is always in my video descriptions. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.